everybody, welcome back to Radio Oddity's YouTube channel. I hope you've all had a good Christmas and you've all had a good New Year. Um, we're going to be kicking off this year with a video about coaxial cable. The reason why we're going to be kicking off this year with a video about coax is because quite a few nights ago we were suffering some uh, heavy wind here at Radio Oddity's HQ and I suffered some damage to some of my coax cable as a result of said high winds and for quite a while now the A99 has been up and I, there's, it's probably been 12-18 months since I've transmitted on the A99 vertical the reason for that being is the high SWR that we're getting now quite probably yeah probably about 12-18 months ago um, I had a rigid ground of all my antennas and I put the A99 just to the right of me here and I changed the T&K brackets to much stronger ones that were already on uh, because the A99 is quite a big bulky antenna and the other ones just weren't quite doing the job. So with that I had to change the coax cable that were connected from my um, DR135 into the A99. I had to use a longer piece of coax because we changed from on this side of the uh, of HQ uh, in front of me to the right. Um, so anyway, cutting a long story short, the coax got changed to a longer piece. Um, it was the only piece that I had left on me. I don't know where this piece of coax came from. I, I've got loads of random lengths and whatnot. And connected it up, connected it to the A99, connected it to the uh, DR135 and keyed up and the SWR was absolutely off the scale. And for the, li for the life of me at the time, I couldn't, I couldn't figure out why. I'd checked everything, I'd messed with the tuning rings, it were working fine before. And I am probably guilty of doing what most ham radio operators do. They don't pay attention to the coax. Having great coax is 70% of the problem when transmitting on any radio band. You know, it's it's quite often said, and, and I agree with it now, that I'd rather have an absolutely fantastic antenna setup and a poor radio as opposed to an absolutely fantastic radio setup and a poor antenna. Um, the antenna for me and the coax is the be all and end all. You can work with a poor radio, you can't work with a poor antenna. So, as a result of the storms that had just um, passed over us just recently, the coax cable, the PL259 plug, got ripped off the end of the coax cable. So, I brought the cable inside, um, brought the PL259 plug inside and started to undo the jacket on the coax and whatnot ready to solder everything back up to get back on the air now as i said i could not for the life of me figure out at the time why the uh, swr the standing wave ratio uh, on the a99 had gone up so high and i kind of feel a little bit silly now obviously relaying this back to you um, i should have realized at the time that when i switched the coax Obviously, the, the SWR, I think it was probably about three and a half, three, 3.5, 3.8. Um, but anyway, so as I'm undoing the coax, um, I made a discovery. Now, for those of you that don't know, coax isn't just coax. Um, there's different grades, different kinds, different qualities. The main ones that we use in ham radio are RG58, which is mainly what I use all over I just find it a good solid um, coax a lot of people say oh, you should be using RG58 use it as patchly as blah 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 uh, the others are RG8X and RG8U now every coax has its pros and cons you know there's there's not a universally best type to use it all depends on your cut length it all depends on what you're using the coax for what band and so on and so on so, as we're cutting away at the coax cable that was damaged from the A99, I made a discovery, and it was a pretty poor discovery. Um, take a look at this coax. So, this the purpose of this video um, is to compare 
two vastly different uh, types of coax cable. Now, they're both, I believe, they were both marketed as RG58 because I only ever buy RG58. Um, but one is higher quality RG58 and one is very, very extremely poor quality RG58. I can't even begin to explain how poor quality this coax is, so I'll just show you the difference. So, this right here is the coax that came off the A99 just recently. Now, as you can see, look how thin the sleeve is, the jacket here, and the um, braided sleeve. And, and, and take a look at that. Take a look at the wire inside. That's literally two, maybe three pieces of wiring on the inside. And you can see all these gaps. You can literally see the white plastic um, jacket around the inner part of the coax. It's, it's terrible. I mean, look at this. You can literally so easily peel away this coax. It, it, it's terrible. I mean, I mean, look at that. <laughs> it's so thin and, and 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 poor quality. Now, why I ever used this one, I can't remember where I got it from. Why it, why it was there? Why we're using it? Um, so then it hit me. It's the coax that's the problem. So let's take a look at a much more acceptable and better piece of coax. Now, as you can see there. Um, you can you can kind of see through the uh, the braiding, but I believe that's probably just because of the light. As I'm looking at it here, you can you can tell that it's a much tighter braid on the inside. The jacket, the you know the the rubber the black rubber jacket around it is much thicker, much much thicker, higher quality. The braid is a far superior superior quality. Sorry, and look at that. Look at the inside of the coax. So whereas on the other piece we had maybe two or three strands. Look how thick that is. We must have here uh, probably 15, 20 strands inside. And as I say, you can see the quality there of the braiding. Now, let's compare. This is the coax that I have now put on uh, because I went to my local ham radio shop uh, just before Christmas and bought uh, 10 foot of coax um, just as spare really and this is what I was given so shout out to Lamco Barnsley thank you very much for that and this is what I was using now now look at the difference there look at the difference on the braid of the top one the, this, this is poor quality and then the braid all around on that one and right there look you can see the difference of the uh, the inner the inner copper wire it's this is unbelievably unbelievably poor quality i only ever only ever buy rg58 to me i don't even think that's rg58 i would i would not have ever bought any other coax <laughs> other than rg58 so maybe i will missold it maybe it will mislabeled i'm not too sure that's the real deal that's where we're at. And as you can see there, look, it's very hard to unpick this braid. You know, it's, it's tight. Good quality coax. Poor quality coax. And the proof, my friends, is in the pudding. So when I uh, soldered the PL259s on either end of this type of coax, this is just a, 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 an offcut, an example from that length. Uh, that I wanted to use for the video. So this piece of coax um, is what's now running from the DR135 into the A99. If you can recall, I said that we're at about 3.5, between 3.5 and 3.8 SWR when transmitting. Keyed up and the SWR was around 1.4 between 1.2 and 1.4 I'd say mostly 1.4 so literally it's halved the SWR for this reason alone I didn't touch the antenna I haven't touched the radio I haven't changed the power settings I haven't changed the tuning rings on the A99 it is literally down to coax I can't stress it enough 
if you're new to ham radio, if you're an old hand and you don't pay much attention, but this is probably particularly to newbies, use good quality coax. This is where it's at. You know, don't use this stuff. I didn't I didn't realise at the time that this was such poor quality coax. Um, it would, I probably put it on as a stopgap and forgot about that I was using this. Use high quality coax. You will see a world of difference. Your SWR is going to come down. You don't have to mess about with your antenna. You don't have to mess about with your radio. The, uh, the noise on the bands is going to come right down. This is what you want to be using. So... If you want to learn, if you want to take anything into the new year, it's pay attention to your coax cables and pay attention to your antenna. We can all have a £3,000 radio and yeah, it's great. It does every single band on every single mode. But if you don't have a good quality antenna, you don't have a good quality piece of coax running to it, you're going nowhere. You know, I can't stress it enough. That's what you want to be doing. Don't concentrate on the radio. Yeah, get yourself a nice radio, but get a better antenna. Right. Thanks for watching the video, everybody. I hope you, um, I hope you take my advice and check all your coaxes. Make sure you're not running anything poor quality and don't buy anything poor quality either. So, thank you very much. Have a good new year, and thanks for watching and subscribing. Seven three.